everybody. I am Kimo Honor Jam, and uh, I will be your guide for this online course. This is a self-paced course designed to give you lots of flexibility in your learning experience. By self-paced, I mean you totally have full control over the pace at which you will learn the course material. In other words, you will learn at your own speed within the enrollment period. The only thing, well, one of the, the main thing that I will have control over are the deadlines. Now, I, I really love to teach, to be honest with you, and I have been teaching physics math, statistics, computer science since 2002 and I have written more or less a couple of textbooks on the subject. Physics really is absolutely beautiful and forms the foundation for all sciences and engineering. My purpose as your teacher for this course is to help you learn, understand that and to be very successful in this course. In other words, I'm going to do everything possible to make you succeed. My definition of success is for you to be able to think and apply the concepts that you have learned in solving some very challenging problems in physics. I will inspire and motivate you to work really hard and I will do my best to give you a very fruitful meaningful learning experience in this course. I can certainly guarantee that. I will put my 110% to really give you a wonderful experience in this course. Because this course is offered completely online, strategic communication between you and I is your biggest asset if you really want to be successful in this course. I cannot overemphasize the importance of keeping in touch with me about your daily learning experiences. Now to ensure your progress, your smooth progress and learning, it is critical or crucial that you maintain regular, regular and consistent communication with me, not on weekly basis, but on daily basis. I will prefer email, a quickly response to email, but if you need urgent assistance, you have access to my phone number. You could call me at any time, and if, if, if I don't respond to your phone call, leave a voicemail, and I will respond to you probably within 3 to 24 hours from your call. Please, it is very important that you check in with me on daily basis. It is very important that you check in with me on daily basis. I am your partner for your success. And therefore, I, will, I urge you to partner with me and let's create a meaningful learning experience that you will forever remember. Now, I can certainly assure you one thing, because this is a very challenging course and exciting in which you will explore some of the fundamental principles that govern the universe. I can certainly guarantee that you will have difficulties. It is but a fact. Now there is no need to be alarmed or to be concerned because that is just part of the learning process. But the good news is, I am here to help you. Therefore, I am your first point of contact with regards to any difficulties that you may encounter in this course, and I guarantee you will encounter many. They may be conceptual. You may read something, you may look at a video lesson, and you may not understand a particular concept. It may be that you are trying to solve a homework problem and you can't get through it. It may just be technical issues, you know, being accessing your course information online. Whether whatever the problem is, please, I will be your first point of contact. It may also be personal issues, such as 
being able to stay on tax, being motivated to do what you want to do. As a life coach and motivational speaker, I will be able to inject in you some words of wisdom and some word of, words of encouragement that will propel you and you will be able you know, to do your work. Once in a while, everyone, including me, needs encouragement. I am here, you know, to help you finish the race. I am here to help you mold your foundation so that in the future, you will accomplish the dreams you were born to accomplish. You are very important to humanity and in you is potential. Trust me, physics will help bring out that potential in you. And I am just a vessel, I am just a guide that will help you to not just discover your potential but to hone your talent so that you can actually become very successful in life. So this brings me to one question which is really very important. How can you be successful in this course? Now I'd like for you to pay attention because I'm going to give you some good nuggets that if you take this advice, these recommendations into consideration, I can certainly, with a hundred percent certainty, that you will be very successful, not just in this course, but in life in general. Understand this fact. Success doesn't come by chance. Success is very predictable. As a matter of fact, your life right now is a sum total of all the decisions that you have made up until this point. So your ability to make right decisions and follow through with those decisions will determine how successful you will be in whatever you will do in life. It is a certain, it is very certain. In as much as success is very predictable, failure is very predictable. If you do not plan for success, you are planning to fail. That is very certain. It is a fact of life. Now, here is the fact. This is a self-paced course. In addition, it is completely done online. It comes with an advantage and a disadvantage. The, the, the biggest advantage that it comes with this course is its flexibility. As a matter of fact, you will have a lot of flexibility in where and when and in what order you will do the coursework. You totally have full control over that. It's a good thing. It sounds great. However, trust me in this, you will need to take extra steps compared to any traditional classroom to be successful in this course. Now, as I've said, you don't really have to be concerned, but it is a fact. I just want to be honest with you that you will have to take extra steps. You will, you will need extra motivation for you to be successful in this course compared to a normal classroom course. So it is important, it is important for you to note that online courses requires just as much if not more time resources and energy compared to traditional classroom courses and please understand that fact that you have more flexibility because you are taking this course at your own pace does not mean that this course is any easier than a traditional classroom it is a common misconception by students to think that online classes are easier than in-class classes. That is a huge misconception. As a matter of fact, you will cover a lot more in an online class than you would do in any traditional classroom, which is a very good thing because it builds your foundation. And the overall advantage is you will develop skills that you will later on need in life to be very successful compared to any traditional classroom. You will develop independence, resilience, being able to do your work on time and on schedule and to keep up to be on task. These are very important skills that you will need in life to be very successful. 
Now, I have been teaching for about 14 years, and, and my experience teaching online courses really shows that flexibility can be a very huge advantage, which is, but at the same time, it can be a drawback for you. I know, this is a paradox. Um, why? Because when students are given so much flexibility, I've come to realize that most procrastinate. In other words, students turn to procrastinate when offered the freedom to make their own schedule. And that is the biggest, biggest setback for an online course. Your ability to set your own schedule. It comes with a temptation of procrastination. So I'm here to tell you this, procrastination will be your biggest enemy and killer of your success, not just in this course, but in life in general. I, I know that there is a misconception out there that people who procrastinate are intelligent. I'm here to tell you that's false and that's BS. Why? because students who procrastinate really are unable to commit to a study schedule and are unable to complete their assignments on time without daily reminders from the instructors and peers. And when you accumulate work, it leads to stress and stress is very bad for you. When you are stressed, you cannot learn. When you're stressed, you cannot sleep. But if you follow the simple steps that I will give you, I can certainly guarantee that you will sleep well, you will really enjoy your learning, and you will be very happy. So what really are the steps for you to be very successful? The secret to be very successful in life and Moreover, in this online course, is very simple. Get ready for this. In order for you to be successful in this course, you must develop an effective plan. Let me say that again. In order for you to be successful in this course, you must develop an effective plan. An effective plan is like a roadmap that shows the destination and the best way for you to get there. Whether you succeed or fail in life, and in this course in particular, depends on the plan that you have or don't have. In other words, your success depends on your plan. And normally, planning is more work than working. In other words, if you make a good plan, your life really will be easy. But if you really have a bad plan or no plan at all, trust me, it will be hard for you to make it through in this course, as well as in any other course or any other thing that you do. There is a cliche, well, I, I, it's, it's more, it's, it's a very common saying, which goes as follows, failing to plan is planning to fail. In other words, you should spend more time planning than you actually work the plan. Let me put it this way. My advice, my humble advice to you really is not to start this course hastily, but first to stop and think and come up with a weekly plan. This is really important because without a weekly plan, really you will develop a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, which will culminate in a failure. But the good news is I am here to help you. In other words, I will help you establish a realistic plan for your success in this course. And that is why we need to partner together in an honest relationship that will give me the chance to be able to help you craft a plan that is suitable for your schedule, that is suitable for your life, that will help you to actually go through this course with as less stress as possible. It's important. It's very possible that you can learn and succeed in a challenging course 
with a little or no stress. And that alone depends on the plan that you have developed or that you don't have. My experience in teaching online courses has been very fruitful. As a matter of fact, all my students usually succeed and they usually enjoy the experience in my online classes and the secret to their success is because all my students develop a plan that guides their action throughout the course. The plan is realistic yet flexible that will guide them their day to day, their hour to hour, their week to week from the start of the course to the end of the course. But first, what is planning? Really, what is an effective plan? Planning is the management between the distance. Listen carefully. Planning is the management of the distance between the start of the course and the end of the course. Let me explain. Planning. An effective plan will shorten the distance between your dream and your future. Life is more like a journey like a path, and there are several paths to your destinations. A well-worked plan will choose the best path with the least stress that will get you to your destination. It's more like you want to move, let's say you're in Baltimore, and you want to take a road trip to California, San Jose, California, to visit a friend. You see, there are several ways that you could get from Baltimore to California. But if you sit at the start of your journey and you plan well, then you will pick the best route that will get you there fastest and safest. So it is important, very important, that you make an effective plan at the beginning of the course as well as at the start of every week. As a matter of fact, Planning gives time purpose and it helps you to prepare for the transitions or the changes that will take place throughout this course. Learning is a change process. Learning is an organic process that produces a series of changes. So as you progress through the course, sorry, as you progress through this course, a well-worked plan will help you to undergo those transitions smoothly with little or no stress. So really, it's important, it's important that you plan. Understand that the only reality in life and in this course is time and change. And if you're unable to manage time and change, you will be unable to manage your life and you may not be able to succeed in this course or in any other thing in, in general. So, the secret to your success in this course is being able to invest and to manage the time and the change that will be afforded you. This is really important. To be able to invest and manage the time afforded you. Now, the only assurance and security that I can give you in this course is that you will have 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week and that time is fixed and probably this may not be the only course or the only thing that you're doing right now in your life but fortunately or unfortunately the time that you have is very fixed it cannot decrease neither can it increase therefore therefore your ability to succeed or fail depends on how well you use or you invest that time. In other words, the only guarantee that you will have in this course to succeed is your ability to effectively invest and manage the time and the changes that will occur throughout the course. This is really important really important but here's the secret you see 
the only secret or the key to managing, well, to investing and managing time and change through this course is planning. Let me say that again. The only secret to effective time management is planning. Lack of planning will lead to stress and stress will hinder your ability to learn effectively. So the secret to your success is the effective investment and the management of time and change throughout this course. And the principal key to the management and investment of time and change is planning. In other words, planning is a very important principle of success in life in general. Understand this. You don't just stumble into success. You are never successful by mistake. You are successful because you control time and you manage change. Therefore, your success in this course really lies in your hands because it depends on how well you can invest and manage the time and change as we progress throughout this course. So without a plan, time and change will actually hinder you from really learning and therefore from succeeding in this course. Understand that an effective plan will really control the decisions that you will make throughout this course that will lead to success. So if you do not have a plan, you will merely meander through this course. Therefore, it is essential for you to have a plan in place if you want to be successful in this course. In other words, if you start this course without a plan, it is certain that you will encounter difficulties along the way at a different level. But if you plan, but a plan will help you manage those uncertainties very well. Planning gives time purpose. It will help you to be more confident and it will give you clarity in your day. So the question, this brings us to this question. So what is the secret to effective time investment and management? Now, please sit up because I'm going to give you some nuggets. I'm going to give you some, some principles that if you master, I can certainly guarantee that you will be very successful in life, not just in this course. These principles are, are timeless. This laws really doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor, whether you are black or white, whether you're in Africa, in America, or in China, they apply everywhere. And if you properly apply these principles, I will certainly guarantee that your, your experience throughout this course will go to another level. Understand this. Time is more important than money. As a matter of fact, time is the most valuable commodity that you will ever have. Just like money, you must invest your time and then you must manage your time effectively if you want to be successful in this course and in life in general. In other words, in other words, in order for you to manage your time, you must first invest that time. There are four important principles that govern how we invest and manage our time. Now, listen carefully to these principles because these are not gates. These principles are life-changing. If you master these principles, I can certainly guarantee that you will be very successful in everything that you will do in life. And more to that, you will be very successful in this course. These principles work whether you are in China, whether you are in Africa, whether you are in Baltimore, whether you are in California. It works irrespective of where you are. It doesn't matter whether you are black, white, or yellow. The principles work. And the good news is they are simple to understand and easy to apply. Um, so principle number one.
Time is a constant and the same for everybody. Time is a constant and the same for everybody. For everybody. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter whether you're young or old. As long as you are on earth, everyone has 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week, no more, no less. So why is this important? Time is fixed. Time is fixed. So the difference in whether you achieve success depends on how well you invest that time and how well you manage that time. It's important you understand this simple principle. The difference maker is how you invest in that time and how you manage that time. And since time is constant, using more of it in one activity decreases the amount left that you will have for another activity. Let me give you an example. This is a real example. On average, teens spend about four hours a day playing video games and about nine hours a day on social media and about seven hours sleeping. This means that they have just approximately four hours left for every other activity. You see, because of the misuse of time, because they do not invest in their time properly, they turn to multi-tax. And the most common misconception, which is very dangerous, that is held by students, is that multitasking does not affect their ability to learn. As a matter of fact, some even think that your ability to multitask shows how intelligent or gifted you are but i am here to tell you that multitasking is very bad for your learning i'll expand share on this later but multitasking is very bad for your learning it is simple neuroscience and i will prove it to you it's basic neuroscience and i'll prove it to you so principle number two this is crucial Remember, principle number one basically states that time is constant, time is fixed, and the same for everybody. Everyone, no matter where you are, as long as you are on earth, which is very important, you have 24 hours in a day and 7 days in a week, no more, no less. Now, principle number two is that unless you invest your time, you cannot manage it. Understand that time is the most valuable commodity that you will ever have. It is more valuable than money. Warren Buffett, which is one of the wealthiest men on earth, once said that the rich invest in time and the poor invest in money. You see, the good thing is everybody is given the same amount of time. It is how you invest in that time and how well you manage that time that determines how successful you will be in life. In other words, for you to manage your time effectively, you must first invest in time. So the question is, what is the difference between time management and time investment? They are very different things. You see, most people talk about management of time. Now, the management of time involves self-discipline and it rarely never works. That's why people go to seminars about time management, but yet when they come back, they are still as they were before because time management is totally ineffective. Unless you invest in your time, you cannot manage your time. Managing time is more about scheduling your day to fit every activity. It's more about scheduling your day to fit every activity that you have on your schedule. And you know for sure that you have, if you are like me, you have so many activities in a day. And when you fit every activity in your schedule, just like all students do, they become exhausted, they burn out so quickly. And uh, one of the devastating effects of being burned out is failure 
failure leads to depression and depression in turn affects every aspect of your life now i'm here to say that you could put an end to this you could put a stop to this i call it madness but investing in time is really more about strategically zooming into the fine details of your life prioritizing your needs setting strategic expectations when you do this then you can allocate time accordingly based on how important that particular activity is you see time investment is far more important than management of time for example given that you are enrolled in this course and probably others you have a general sense of what is important well this could be homework this could be lab this could be quizzes and many other things in your social life in your family life for a particular day or for a particular week so the question really is how then can you invest your time this is critical now i'm going to give you some four steps that you can take in order for you to invest in your time effectively step number one step number one the very first step is for you to sit down with a blank piece of paper or i i do have a journal it's for you to sit down with a blank piece of paper or a journal and just write down what is important to you for that week this list will decide what will make your week successful this list sorry will act like a blueprint that will help you to differentiate what will really make your week successful but also it will give you realistically what you can accomplish or not now for this particular course what i recommend is at the beginning of each week which means sunday maybe on sunday afternoon just sit down with a blank piece of paper look at this particular course and then write down every important activity coming up in that particular week just write it down homework practice exam quizzes labs and so on and so forth just write down the items that are coming up that are important the order in this case really doesn't matter but just make sure you write them down step number two you see the second step is to rank your list in order of priority and you have to also take into consideration the deadlines for each activity one simple method i use for ranking is to give each item a number probably from one to ten now in this scale one means one actually stands for least important and ten stands for most important when you rank your lease it becomes a priority lease this is important understand that this ranking converts the lease from a lease to a priority lease but it is not yet very useful it is just a list most people do this they write down important things and they try to schedule it to fit the time in a day and it really doesn't work that way so step one write down what is important for that week that is write down what is important for that week step two rank the list in order of importance you may rank the list by giving each item a number for example you could say one which stands for least important and ten which stands for most important so you give it a ranking when you rank the items in the list when you rank the items in the list it becomes a priority list so the next question is how can you make this list practical 
you need to translate the priorities into something you can do. This is really important. You need to translate the priorities into something you can actually do or accomplish. So this brings us to the third step, step three. Now, step three, in step three, you write down the corresponding actions for each item in the priority list. When you write down the corresponding action for each item in the priority list, you then convert the list just from a list to an action-based list. This is really important. Now, a corresponding action is something you must do to accomplish that particular item. Remember step one, you write down whatever is important. Step two, you rank the items in the list in order of importance. Step three, for each item in the list, you will write down the corresponding action that you have to do in order to accomplish that particular item. When you do so, a priority list plus its corresponding action become an action-based plan. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say um, if one of your priorities is to complete the video lessons for each unit by a certain date. Let's say your target is that you will complete the video lesson by Wednesday every week. Then the corresponding action would be that you will watch the lessons for 45 minutes every day. It is important that you pick a particular time of the day. Let's say you will watch the video lessons for 45 minutes between 8 a.m. and 8.45 in the morning every day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And in the process, you will take down good notes. Now, in order for you to track your progress, each corresponding action should have a checkbox and a corresponding time for action. You see, the checkbox more or less is a lease that if you do that particular action, what happens? You check it. In so doing, you can actually keep track of whether you are accomplishing the items that week or not. And this is really important. This brings us to the fourth step When you look at each corresponding items and its ranking and its corresponding action, then you can determine how much time, resources you will allocate for that particular item. We call this investing time. You understand that the last step cannot be possible without the first three steps. The very first step, you write down what is important. The second step, you rank the, your list in order of importance by giving probably numbers. The third step, you write down the corresponding action for each item. And the fourth step, then you look at your list, your action-based list, then you will determine the time that you will need to accomplish that particular action. Now, the time you allocate for each action is proportional to how important it is. The time you allocate for each action is proportional to how important that particular action or that particular item is. When you do this, less important items will take less time and more important items to take more time. This time allocation, we call it time investment. It is also very important to have an accountability partner. You see, when you have an action-based list with check boxes, it is very easy for you to be accountable for the time that you have. 
and if you are accountable for the time that you have you can actually measure your progress from start to finish also when you create such a list it becomes very flexible which means that you can adjust the list as you go forward now I am your accountability partner this means that at the start of the semester I will have a consulting meeting with each and every one of you in which I will go into details it will be between 45 minutes to an hour in which I will go into details how you could actually create a plan for every week now what I expect from you is that at the beginning of every week you should submit a plan for that week. This is important. At the beginning of every week you should submit a plan for that week. Now which means that on Monday we will have a conference call or a consulting call in which you and I will look at that plan for that particular week. during which I will act as your accountability partner helping you along the way motivating you along the way encouraging you along the way walking with you along the way to help you achieve the plan for that week it is important if you can do this I can guarantee with certainty that you will be very successful in this course so just to recap the main points, every Monday I expect each and every one of you, every Monday I expect you to submit your weekly plan to me. Then over the phone or through email communication, we will look at the plan for that week that will help guide you to make you successful it will help me as your teacher to know when and how to exactly help you accomplish the important things that you need to do for that particular week this is your roadmap to success that will help me know how to help you that will help you monitor your progress and I would recommend now before I proceed remember the pro, your priority list is weekly based but your action steps your corresponding actions are daily actions for example if one of the things items in your priority list is an exam coming up that particular week probably maybe it's on a Friday you want to take the exam on a Friday then your corresponding action would be for you to study for 30 minutes every day towards that exam 30 minutes no more no less every day towards that exam you see it is important that you study for 30 minutes every day than to study for six hours in one day. Research have shown that when you study for 30 minutes every day than for six hours in one day, you actually learn more. So it's important you note that. So the action plan are actually daily based, but the priority list is weekly based. It's important you note the difference. Now, what I do personally is that I have said I have set my watch to ring or vibrate every hour is to say I've, I've actually set my watch or my phone to kind of vibrate every hour the importance of this is when it vibrates I will now look at my list and ask myself have I spent the last hour being productive? 
It also acts as a reminder for me to look at my list and refocus on the most important items. So principle number three. This is the last of the three principles that govern time investment. It states that planning gives time purpose and purpose prioritizes time. Planning gives time purpose and purpose prioritizes time. Now, when you prioritize, now, when your time is prioritized with purpose, then making daily decisions at any given moment becomes a matter of choosing between what matters most and what matters less. As a matter of fact, this principle determines how well you will spend your time. Your purpose is guided by your vision for your life. Let me say that again. Your purpose is guided by the vision for your life. Now, if you don't have a vision, your life will be very stressful. A clearly articulated vision often generates a unique purpose that will in turn give the time you have a sense of direction. In other words, without purpose, you will lack the inner motivation required to provide the drive that you need to work hard and succeed in this course. Therefore, purpose gives you the inner motivation to work without supervision. It produces the right attitude and habit required to manage your time well. It produces the right habits, attitude required to manage your time well. So in other words, purpose gives you the inner motivation to work. It produces the right attitude and habit required for you to manage your time well. Remember, time management is all about attitudes and habits. So if you lack the inner motivation, it will be very hard for you to manage your time well. Now, it will be easy for you to have the inner motivation if your time is governed by purpose. Understand that your purpose is dictated by the vision you have for your life. Let me say that again. Your purpose is dictated by the vision you have for your life. It produces the right attitude, the right habit necessary for you to manage your time well. Now, while purpose is all about habit, Time investment is all about priority, time allocation, and corresponding action plans. So it is very important for you to have a plan, an itemized priority list, with corresponding actions. Hence, time management is all about habits and attitudes, while time investment is all about priorities, time allocations, and corresponding action plans. It is important to have a plan, an itemized priority list with corresponding action plans, but the ultimate challenge is execution. So the golden question is, how do you stick to a plan when so many things threaten to derail you from it? As a matter of fact, we are living in a digital age, in an informational age, in which so much is competing for our time. So how can you focus on a few important things when so much, when so many things require your attention? Technology and social media really is at the front seat of the competition for our time. As a matter of fact, research has shown that social media is much more addictive than drugs. 
and it has a devastating consequence to your potential. Now to conclude, I would recommend a few basic things to you. One, stay organized. With your weekly plan, this will really help you to be organized. Understand that being organized from the beginning is crucial to your success in this online course. Well, it takes discipline and careful planning to be organized. And in general, it takes careful planning and discipline to be successful in life. And the very first step to organize yourself really is to look around your house and find a quiet place with a good internet connection, access to power and free from any distractions. This is your study space. This is the place that you should feel very comfortable and really free from any distraction. Now, the next thing I would recommend for you to do is to identify and strengthen weekly rituals. Now, let me explain. When you complete your weekly action plan, you will notice that some tasks or some corresponding actions repeat themselves daily. For example, you may want to watch your video lessons at 8 o'clock a.m. every morning or do your homework at 10 a.m. every morning or between 10.30 and 11.30 every morning. You see, these actions are repetitive. Identify these actions and standardize them so that it becomes second nature, which means that if you get up in the morning, you automatically know that from 8 a.m. in the morning to 9.45, it is the time that you will sit back, study, take some good notes. When you create this plan, what I do personally is, I often place it where everybody can see it around me, maybe on the refrigerator, so that every member of your family will know that at this particular time, this is when you are studying, and they will not distract you or disturb you. So it is really important for you to have a safe space and to identify and standardize common activities throughout your week. Now, before we go, I just want to stress the fact that it is my privilege and honor to be your teacher, and I promise that I will do my best to help you succeed in this class. And I cannot do that if you do not give me the chance to help you. You will have challenges. You will, this course will challenge Sorry, this course will challenge you to your core. And when you encounter such challenges, please give me the chance to help you. Thank you so much. I look forward to having this wonderful experience with you throughout this semester. Bye.